Wet dreams, if you get them, is it a bad thing? No, it isn't. I'm going to cut straight to the point. It isn't. A lot of you guys on your NoFap journey are concerned because maybe you experienced a wet dream. That's perfectly normal, bro. It's your body's way of releasing any excess buildup, shall we say, because you've been abstaining from self-pleasuring. So you're not constantly depleting the tank yourself. Does it count as a relapse? No. And the reason why it doesn't count is because the whole point of NoFap is for you to abstain from self-pleasure, from playing around with your own willy, grabbing it, choking it, doing whatever you want to do with it, right? It's abstaining from that bullshit, which is usually coupled with watching explicit content online. You don't control whether or not you get a wet dream. It just happens. Sometimes when you're experiencing it, you're sort of semi-conscious maybe, but sometimes you're not really conscious of the fact that you're experiencing it until, you know, later on, right? It's perfectly fine. Nothing to be ashamed about. Don't let it get you down. Don't let it make you feel like, oh man, all that progress is wasted. No, it isn't. That progress still stands because you've been abstaining from self-pleasure, right? Self-pleasure is the problem. Watching porn is the problem. Your body releasing the excess is not a problem. It's very normal, very natural. Don't stress about it, man. Don't stress. Now, look, there may be things that impact, you know, whether or not you relapse, such as edging, as an example. Now, this is a separate topic altogether, but edging is where you try and get yourself as close as possible to experiencing an orgasm, but you stop yourself. And the reason why I think you shouldn't do that is because it will make you more likely to relapse. It will. If you play with it and you're like, yeah, but it's technically, I'm not ejaculating. Yeah, but, but still, you're not going cold turkey completely. You're not completely refraining, abstaining. Nah, you're still semi-involved in the process. And when you're edging, you're probably watching something that you shouldn't be watching. And so you may end up experiencing an orgasm when you didn't really intend on experiencing one, but because you, your body just couldn't control it anymore and you ended up climaxing, you know, and busting nuts all over yourself, you've, you've ruined your progress right there. So edging is not a an okay thing. Nah, because it will get you riled up. It will get you turned on. And if you're turned on too much, you know what comes up after that. You're going to start loading those websites and before you know it, a couple of hours gone by, there you are. Busted nuts all over yourself. Okay, so abstain from edging. Either you do it properly or you don't do it at all. That's the mindset. Abstain completely. If you feel like you're getting the temptation, leave the house, is what I would say. Do something drastic. Change your environment. Stop bringing your laptop to your room or your phone to your bed if you feel that it, it leads you into doing some dumb shit. It's a concept called environment design by James Clear. Change your environment. It's so powerful, man. When you change your environment, you put obstacles in the way of you and that bad habit. If it's cigarettes, for example, you just stop putting them somewhere where you can see them in the initially. If it's drinking, you throw the bottles out of your fridge into the bin. So now, and, and these, these could be unopened bottles, right? Unopened cans. Now that they're in the bin, the thought of you having to rummage through the bin to grab them again is off-putting. Especially if there's a bunch of shit in there, tuna and some fucking leftover dinner. You're not going to put your arm down there, and right? So create obstacles in the way of you and the bad habit. If you put your phone downstairs somewhere, you're like, oh, when you're nice and toasty in bed, the thought of you leaving bed, going downstairs, getting the laptop, bringing it back up, maybe putting it in charge, turning it on, putting your password in, all of those steps 
just for you to then load up the hub. It just makes you more likely to be like, you know what? <sighs> Fuck off. I can't be asked. Right? Create obstacles in the way. <laughs> Environment design. Powerful concept. You know, I applaud you guys for... Because I get messages every day. I applaud you guys for trying your hardest. It's not an easy thing to overcome. You know, your addiction to pornography and masturbation. It's challenging, man. And I talk about it on this channel on a regular basis because I understand the detrimental impact it has on so many lives. Right? I don't see it as a weird topic to talk about. No, it's important that we talk about things like this. So that we can together overcome them. They want us weak. They want us to be consumed by our desires. They want us docile, less aggressive, right? No, we're not going to let our desires control us. We're going to get a control over our desires. And like I said, the urges that you experience, perfectly normal as well. Don't feel like, oh, why am I getting the urges? Normal. It's a good thing that you feel horny as a, as a grown man. That's a good sign that you've got testosterone running through your body. Everything's working the way it should. If you're not feeling horny whatsoever for months and months and months, then maybe I would recommend that you go see a doctor, right? But if you are feeling turned on and you want to do some shit, that's okay. Direct that sexual energy to your goals. Believe me, it's so powerful, man. It really is. It really is. And then when you start seeing the impact of directing that sexual energy you'll fall in love with the results right you're like man since abstaining from this shit since directing this energy into my business things have just improved so much in my life i've i've created so much i've produced so much you look at the work that you've produced you're like wow all of that happened after i abstained from this bullshit that i was doing before because you know porn just eats up at your life man it drains your time as well as your ball sacks, right? But, you know, you look at the time that you were wasting before and you were like, fucking hell, man. With this time that I have now, I'm doing so much. I'm accomplishing so much. The progress is evident. And you fall in love with the progress. And like I said in some of my previous NoFat videos, once you start stacking those W's, those wins, you're more likely to abstain from relapsing because you're like, man, I've made so much progress. I don't want to ruin it by playing around with myself right now. And you start seeing it as a really goofy, silly act over time. Right now, you might see it as, well, no, oh, it's just a way for me to detox and relax or whatever. But after a while, you look back and you're like, man, it's such a pathetic thing to do. It really is. And then when you start attracting a higher caliber of women, then you feel like oh, I'm a I'm a successful man. I'm doing well for myself. I don't need to play around with myself. That's stupid. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to attract a beautiful woman into my life and we're going to have an incredible sex life. There's nothing wrong with having sex. There's nothing wrong with ejaculating. But busting nuts on yourself by watching porn on a screen, now that's a problem. It really is. It's devastating what it does to your life. Okay, but it's remarkable what can happen when you abstain and you put that focus into your goals, into your health. All right, fellas, so to wrap up this video, if you experience a wet dream, don't worry. It's perfectly normal. It's your body's way of releasing any excess. Don't stress about it. You haven't relapsed. No, you only relapse when you pick up your phone, you load up the hub, and you start busting one off. Okay, and don't edge, as I mentioned. Edging is going to get you riled up and you're more likely to relapse as a result. Okay? It's like if you want to quit smoking, you're not going to hang around four or five people that are smoking outside a coffee shop. It's going to get you feeling some type of way. Environment design. Remember that. Thanks for watching, fellas. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a like. Comment. Let me know what you think down below. And if you're new here, consider subscribing. I'll see you in the next one.